All right, everybody. Hey, welcome back to Public Eye Outdoors. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video here. I was out practicing for a 3D tournament I got coming up tomorrow. And uh, the last tournament that I was in, the targets that I was missing on were really close ones. Um, and you wouldn't think that that was, uh, should be the case, but a lot of people don't realize that uh, your yardage at that at shorter distances I'm talking that three to eight to ten yard uh, range really makes a difference in how you use your pin setup and a lot of amateur you know first time shooters will invariably try to go less than 20 or right at 20 and gap shoot or drop their pin or whatever. Now that may work for some people, but if you wanna be consistent and know exactly where that arrow is gonna go every time that you, you set up for a short shot, there's some criteria that you gotta think about. These short shots get a lot of people, especially at 3D tournaments that have never really shot those short, short distances. I'm gonna walk you through uh, this little section that I'm doing, uh, I wanted to get this on paper, so next time that I, this coming weekend, tomorrow, when I run into this again, I'll be prepared and ready to go. So, and this will help you in even hunting situations. Uh, you know, some guys may hunt off the ground. Uh, you may have a deer within five yards. Now, a bigger bodied animal like that may not be as, as critical say like a turkey or something like that at five yards, you definitely are gonna need to use this criteria when, when setting up on the, that animal. Um, and so what I'm, what I'm gonna show you here today is, is what I've written down here. And we're gonna shoot two arrows. We're gonna shoot one with a 20 yard pin and one adjusted to what I have for my bow at that distance. So let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and shoot for the smallest target. We're gonna shoot for this coyote here. And that will give us a good indication of, of just how big of a variance you can get with a small target at really close distances. So uh, I'm gonna set you up here a little closer. And we're gonna go through these yardages as I've got them written down in my in, on my paper so this is this is what I was doing prior to making this video I wanted to make a video kind of showing you how I went through this process so we're gonna start at three yards now three yards my my rangefinder won't even pick that up uh, it won't register that at all it won't even register five yards if I was back here at five yards yeah about six yards is where this thing starts reading so If you don't have a range finder that works up close like that, then you're gonna have to kind of judge it. But um, what I'll do is I'll step this off. One, two, three. Okay, this is three yards right here. We'll put an arrow right here, simulating the three yard pin. Okay, now if I had this shot in a 3D tournament, most people are going to go right to their 20 pin and shoot at the dot, thinking that they're gonna be able to hit that with a 20 yard, or they may drop it even more. But in actuality, what they're doing is screwing themselves even harder by lowering it. When you think of anybody that shoots uh, guns and stuff, you need to know your trajectory. And when, a, when you're shooting, the bullet comes out low and arcs. Same with the arrow it's gonna come out low and then make that arc at the distance that you have it dialed into. But the problem you have up close with these kind of shots is that arrow is just starting to climb, okay? If it's wanting to be up here at 20 yards, it doesn't make much sense, but this, let me show you what I'm talking about here. So, and I'm, I'm kind of scared I may even miss this target if I do this. But we're gonna dial this to 20 yards. I'm gonna shoot right for the center of this coyote. And we're gonna see where this arrow hits. Now I'm hoping that I don't miss it. Get my, my 
release out here. Okay, three yards with a 20 yard pin. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dial this for the yardage that I have written down, which at three yards for me is 55 yard pin. It's, I have a, a dialing sight, single pin sight, so I'm gonna dial this sight to 55 yards. And then we'll go ahead and shoot another arrow, same target, same spot, and see how it comes out. Okay. When you're thinking about trajectory, ballistics, well not ballistics, but trajectory of a bullet or an arrow, when you have an obstacle out there or a target out there at 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever it may be, and you dial that uh, yardage. The bullet or arrow is going to start out low and climb to that yardage, okay? It's not coming straight out. It's coming at an arc. So you have your arc. So when you're up close, you've got a target here. Your normal target at 20 yards is out here. So in this space here, it has to climb to get to that 20 and hit perfectly. But if you have a target here blocking, it's coming out low. It's gonna hit a lot sooner and a lot lower. So let me show you what we did here at three yards. Get it zoomed in here now. This was my first shot with the 20 yard pin. And you see, I'm about four or five inches too low. This is my shot with my yardage at 55, my pin at 55 yards. So you can see I hit dead center right in that small circle at, with that 55 yard setting at three yards. That's how much difference, and you see this a lot in 3D tournaments. Of That's just a uh, a real good thing to know, especially uh, in a hunting situation. I, you know, very far and few between do you ever get a three yard shot in hunting, in a hunting scenario, but it could happen. I've taken turkeys at five yards and literally had to dial my, my bow to, to 60 or 55. I actually, I think that one that I shot, uh, that one year at, at five yards, I dialed it into 60, which I should have been at 55, but I dialed it to 60 and I hit a little bit high on him. Okay, same thing. Now, you would think two yards doesn't make that big difference, but it actually does, okay? So we're back here at five yards instead of three yards. And we're gonna shoot that same thing. That same uh, two arrows, and I've got it written down five yards. My three yard uh, shot was with a 55 yard pin. This is my five yard shot. So let's go ahead and gotta remember where I gotta be. We'll go ahead and shoot the five yard the same way. We're gonna go 20 yard pin. So here we are, five yards. 20 yard pin. Okay, now we'll go five yards with dialed in to where I need to be. All right, here's five yards and the difference between the 20 yard pin and the pin that I chose, which was a 45 yard pin. There we go. Same thing here, at five yards, not quite as drastic, but there's still a difference. So I'm right at the top of the bowl, the center hole here. I'm a little left and a little bit high, but not as bad as, I've kind of rushed that one, I think, to be honest. 
but this one here is just barely touching the tin ring. So you're just lining the tin. You're taking a chance of not even hitting the tin with that five five yard shot. And that's what I ran into uh, two or three weeks ago when I shot that tournament. So you've got about three inch difference there at five yards using a 20 yard pin, 20 yard pin, and the 45 yard pin. So you're probably thinking to yourself, Lonnie, you can't get much different the further you go back. Well, it's still a little bit of difference. So let's go back to, uh, I think my next one was, I think I had seven yards. So let's go to seven yards. I can do this with my range finder. Okay, here's seven yards right here. Seven yards with 20 yard pin. That one wasn't bad with the 20 yard pin actually. So 35 is what I need to dial this to. Okay. three arrows in this target and the reason for it I don't think I made a good shot on that first one you can still make bad shots on these shorts you know even if you have your yardage you can still make a bad shot so don't think this is a cure-all for everything you still got to make the shot all right so this was my 20 yard okay so we're right at the bottom of the bowl not bad you could probably get away with that. But if you really want to dial it in, this one was, I shot high or my anchor was wrong or something. If you really want to dial it in though and hit dead center, I moved this to 35 and I'm about, a, about an inch higher than what my 20 yard pin hit. Either way, I'm in the tin, so, but if you really have to be precise, this comes in to play. Right here is our 10 yard. So once again, we're gonna shoot a 10 yard shot with a 20 yard pin and a 10 yard shot with what I feel I should be dialed at. So here is our 20 yard pin at 10 yards. Okay, pretty good. It's actually pretty good. You could you could easily get away with the 20 yard pin at 10 yards with this bow. But I've got the 30 written down here. So I'm not sure where I'm getting this drastic difference, but we'll see where this 30 hits. Okay. All right, well, besides being left, they're about even, okay? So, at 10 yards, I could get away with my 20 yard pin, but the 30 is just more comfortable for me to, to know that I'm not gonna shoot low on this, on this target. Hopefully this helps some of you guys uh, if you're having, if you're struggling with them really close shots. I do have one other yardage that uh, I have written down. It's, it's, I believe, 15 yards or 14 yards, 13 yards, 13 yards to 15 yards. So I've got the 25 yards uh, yardage marker for that shot in between 13 and 15. So could I get away with the 20? More than likely, yeah, from that last shot that you saw at uh, 10 yards uh, the 20 yard pin was was right there too so but anything in that you know inside of 10 yards you really want to write down 
and know for sure what pin to use at those shorter distances because it will vary even two yards at a time it's going to vary quite a bit so, uh, just keep that in mind if you've got a 3d tournament or if you're out hunting and you've got a perfect scenario where you have a deer uh, walk by you at five yards or four yards or whatever or a turkey or something like that you know uh, it, it, it can happen out there uh, hunting so you know on a big bodied animal like an elk or something like that is probably not as critical but if you want to be precise with your shot it's definitely something that you want to know and need to know so anyway till the next video stay safe out there in your hunts everybody we'll see you on the next video